Do you know what famous person this baby became? Tonight, two contestants try to identify this face for $10,000 in cash on Face the Music. Hi everyone. Last time I said I would share with you who this baby picture is. And it's Bob Barker. And what I would like to share with you is a game that Bob liked, and that was golf. And the game on the Price is Right is called Hole in One or Two. And I'm going to show you an episode from 1991. It shows two of my favorite models that inspired me to do this YouTube channel, also influenced me, Holly Holstrom and Janice Pennington. Janice Pennington did something very interesting, and I'll let you see for yourself. I'll take a little rest. And now, is it not true that on one occasion you made two in a row? Yes, I did. And How long ago was that? Do that you was remember? Seven, eight years ago. <laughs> that was eight years ago. But you can start a new string right now. Here we go. Wait a minute. What did that hit? What did that hit? What a... I have never seen anything like that before in my life. Well, now, there's a little hole. I'm better than I thought I was. Why, it was wonder. There's a little hole in the ball, but the ball rolled true until I got... Here, just roll. That, this, you think that was a joke. That was not playing, was it? No. Now, it was a joke no. on me if it was. Now, the contestant did go on to win the car. However, that's not the point. The point is when Janice did putt the ball, the ball really didn't make it in the hole. There are no fans or anything on that stage that produce wind or air movement. So basically, what was underneath the putting green, the fairway or whatever you want to call it, there was a loose board and that's what caused the ball to slip. Bob and Janice did do an instant replay after the plane itself. And just for the record, most of the games on The Price is Right are made out of some kind of wood. Now the reason is I'm showing you all of this is because we don't see things like that in everyday life. And kind of what I like to show you here on YouTube every so often or every now and then is things that we do do in everyday life and ask why we do that in everyday life. Such as, we wake up, take a shower, get dressed, go to work. During our work shift, we take a break, lunch, dinner, whatever time of day it is, and then we go home and then have dinner or use the computer and then go to sleep. But pretty much during all those times, we actually either use our cell phones, iPhones, or go on the computer using or looking at things like this on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I think you understand what I'm getting at here. The question is, is why? And the other thing I would like to back up and mention is that people who came before us taught us these things of how we come up with the way of life. And during the 90s or during the 80s and the 90s, we pretty much pointed out that we were the kids of the future. And most of us are really going in the right direction, but most of us are not going in the right direction. And what I'm getting at here is the fact that people who use YouTube or most people who use YouTube and people that use Facebook or Twitter kind of use it for the wrong reason and for someone who has autism like me I don't really understand so I'm really asking for your help to help me do more videos of how I can make them be more successful leave your comments below and I will have more to show you but like I said if any point in time you wish to leave me something um, to talk about or a question or a comment or 
you know, like I said, some kind of um, satisfaction or I think you know what I'm saying. Please leave me a comment. Until we meet again, John Toomey saying peace and bye.